there's been some wacky stories in the news about Pokemon Go, and there's going to be more and more. Um, there's been dead bodies discovered. There's been drug deals speculated or actually happening. Um, a kid was stabbed. It's it's all sorts of mess. Um, some girl uh, fell in a hole. I saw. Yeah, some girl fell in a hole. A I, lot of I people was were walking, going to church for the first time in years. Yeah, I was walking down the block at like late at night, almost 11 p.m. Um, on the other side, and I was looking down at my phone, and suddenly, like I almost like I felt the the ground go out from under me because suddenly I had stepped into the street without realizing it oh and was gosh. like, Oh crap, I'm in the street right now. I mean I hadn't I didn't step like super far in, but I did notice like, oh, suddenly I am in the street yep. and I've been looking down at my map. Um uh, Yeah, there's a squirtle in the middle of the road and I was like stopping my wife. I'm like, Honey, I have to catch this and she's like, Their cars are coming and I'm like, There's a squirtle <laughs> And yeah. I caught it, don't worry. But um it's like yeah. last second, this squirtle's gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> well, there was um, there was what's the name? Taurus, Tauros, like the bull type yeah, Pokemon. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and it was in the middle of the road, and I caught it, and it, like it got hit by a fire truck. Uh, so I nicknamed oh. it Road Hazard. But um, but yeah, so there's all these stories and stuff. You can be be sure to Google them. Um, there's a uh, awesome story by Kotaku, um, a video game website called Kotaku, <laughs> that um talks about everyone. Like these funny tweets that people are tweeting out about how for the first time in years people are going to church because there's focus stops and gyms yeah. at church, and so they're trying to go in inside and explore the church and. Or the guy that was biking up and down the same route over and over again to hatch his eggs, which was just <laughs> like right out of the video game. It's yeah. Like... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm because what I've heard though is that if you if you move too fast, it, it kind of turns it off. Like yeah, it, I I think that it's around ten miles an hour that yeah. it kind of turns it off. But I haven't had too much of a problem with that really, honestly, because I've been driving around a lot um, and playing it at the same time, and it's been doing a pretty good job at keeping up with like having Pokemon spawn. So uh, and also registering a little bit at least of distance like travel. Your eggs. It, when i when i'm driving a lot yeah for the eggs i have hatched a lot but um it seems like when you slow down in the car come to like stops it will still it'll start registering a few footsteps things like that i would assume that in a bike as long as you're not going too too crazy fast <laughs> it 30 miles per be, hour <laughs> it'd probably work pretty good yeah, I'll have to try that because I have my bike in Minneapolis. is like a biking mecca. Like, it's just such a good city for... Yeah, I was telling Kayla, we need to get some bikes over here because I want to go <laughs> biking around for Pokemon. I eventually, I don't know. I do, I don't know. Maybe if I will get the Pokemon Plus, Go Plus. what also you can do with a, with a bike, I guess, if you're not, like, necessarily hatching eggs with it, is, like, if you see uh, something's three steps away and you bike down a few blocks and then just stay where you're at for a minute... And, yeah. you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I, I don't know. I haven't tried it on a bike yet, but I would assume that the egg thing works pretty well that way. Mm-hmm. I have three eggs incubating right now. 4.6 out of 5 kilometers. I need to go walk a little more to hatch them. Yeah. <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> um, but, yeah, so be sure to Google those stories and stuff. And sorry we couldn't share more of those, but they're, they're best read. And I'm excited to read yeah. more. Um, if you, but I, I think Kotaku is covering them so well because Kotaku I'm, writes so informally. I'm scared uh, for the first death. <laughs> I am. I am afraid. Well, I mean, you already have someone stabbed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but we there's that story. Someone took a captured a Pidgey while their wife was giving birth. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the Pidgey's like on her belly or something. It's super cute. Um, but I do argue for world peace by everybody download pokemon go and let's it is interesting and like, we won't get too into it because we're not a political podcast but there's been some crap going on in the news this week and it's interesting that you'll see you know hashtag some sort of movement hashtag another movement hashtag this sort of politics hashtag this yo i just caught a chance to you by my backyard yeah. you know like uh-huh. we we are a part of the kind of funny facebook group where it's basically a co- collaboration of a bunch of fans of video games movies politics everything um, anything and everything, and it's interesting to see the kind of insane, intense discussions going on this week, and then Pokemon Go. Like, it's just, yeah. Um, oh, what a weird week for it to come out, and I think a good kind of distraction maybe from some of this stuff because it's nice that every like that we've talked about in the past, like everyone's playing it, and it's just kind of nice that there is that element of peace in it where it's just like let's all go to the park and catch Pokemon, you know? Like, there's no 
animosity about it. And so hopefully people stay safe out there. We went for a walk last night to catch Pokemon and we were walking and I, I, I kept encouraging my wife to go look at these Pokestops, but there was that element of, um, okay, that's pretty dark over there. You don't know where we are. It's interesting there's, to think. There's exploration and there's then there's being safe. So please yeah. be safe. But. It's interesting to think of like, probably if like a major riot happened right now and people are like looting and smashing windows, probably this would happen where somebody's like smashing a window and grabbing a TV, but they have their phone out. And a guy <laughs> next to him runs up and grabs a TV and looks over the other guy and is like, hey, Pokemon Go? Yeah, Pokemon yeah. Go! And they're like, hey, there's a something over here and then, like people like running up with their phones out pokemon going as they're riding and looting and going well, I crazy think, I, live, I live in minneapolis I think, there, I think there was a standoff on one of the highways nearby and i wouldn't be yeah. surprised if someone in that march was you know okay, yeah had their Definitely. phone out uh, you know it would have to be on average i mean it's rivaling twitter users so yeah i <laughs> see so, yeah, someone's probably tweeting about it you know with their little hashtags for their movement and the other person's probably catching uh you know, a jinx, but... Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, all right, real quick, let me make a note of the end of that, because I think...